is that you're going in this direction. Turn more. Bam, I'm actually going past you. Bang. Get it ready. Nice. Okay, so today we're going to speak about how you can beat a tennis player when you are at the net. So how can you attack a tennis player? A tennis player is mostly out of position, mostly plays fast. So today we have a tactic to kill a tennis player. Step one, the average tennis player is out of position. We met yesterday actually. Now you're struggling with tennis players that play very fast from the back. How are you solving that right now? Blocking. Blocking? Blocking. Okay. But you're not losing the point? Sometimes. Sometimes okay. because when you block, the ball ends up in the net okay. or it ends up in the glass. Sometimes it's hard to deal with where do I try to block it towards or okay. how do I try to attack it. Do you get lopped after you get blocked? Not often enough. Okay. No. The other one was the kick smash. You want to improve the kick smash? Yeah. What are you doing now? Um, when the ball is high? Usually I just try to play Bandeja in the corners. Okay. Usually try to aim for the side glass or the fence so that okay. they get in trouble or yeah. very soft to the middle so they have to move. Okay. Yeah. The kick to the fence? Yeah, fence or out, both. Four, okay. Yeah. So we're going to start right now. Vamos! Vamos! <laughs> the average tennis player is out of position. Is normally positioned over the white line or on the white line. Which basically means that if you play to the player, they can block or they can volley. They play all the balls before the glass if the ball goes into the corner. So, the fence is free and the glass in the middle is free. What is the reason they can play fast? I play to their body. Yeah. So it would be good to variate the direction of the shots because if they have to run and they are in the middle, let's say you play and start here by playing in the center, they cannot accelerate. If they accelerate, you play there. If I am here and you get a fast ball, if you play the same ball fast back, I can still have it. If you play the ball slow dying in the corner, it's actually harder for me to to defend. We have to change a little bit the way you build up. So I'm gonna play on the left side and, and let's see how you build up and let's see if I have the chance to play and block fast. one okay okay which folly is better your forehand or your backhand folly i think my forehand folly why uh in this case because well, it's in the middle yeah. it's, it's a straight shot i don't have to take any risk with the wall okay feels very safe how many points did you win with your forehand how many points did you win with your backhand i think more with my backhand but that's yeah. because i think i got lucky normally i don't get this lucky okay yeah, yeah because you played to the fence often so and if i play fast this is easy so i actually yeah. think your backhand folly is better than your forehand because with your forehand you make quite of a big swing and if i play fast the big swing is too big your this big of a swing doesn't matter if if I play soft in defense. So what I think you should do is that we work on a smaller backswing with the forehand and most of your shots when you were playing to me were there. Yeah. Instead of before the white line and on the fifth wall. Yeah, it's with a big swing and less preparation time, yes. I couldn't try to get it to the middle. Yes, and yeah. then softer. Because the ball in the middle, if you play that one softer, I hit the ball lower, so I cannot play fast. They cannot play fast anymore. If they do, it's your point. So what I think we should do is to make your forehand folly slightly smaller and aim specifically before the white line uh, in the middle. Yeah? Yep. Okay, let's pick up the bolas. A tennis player, step two, will defend very, very fast. Step one is play away from the tennis player. Step two is the tennis player is going to play fast. So make your swings short, short and slow. You don't have to play fast. The average tennis player is normally not a good player with the wall. So if you can make them use the glass or the fence, you are going to win the match. So if they are here, this is completely open, the wall in the center. And the fence is reachable, but difficult. So fence or middle, especially middle. So now 
with Stein, we focus on playing a short and high forehand volley uh, preparation to play a slow ball in the center because the ball has to be very slow and short before the white line. So I'm gonna play random balls, random speeds, so sometimes fast, sometimes soft, and you adjust the swing. But from every swing, short preparation. So what you want to do is always follow through. So even though the ball is fast, go a little bit forward. Um, because now you deaccelerate the ball. You want to play slightly softer, but when you play, you don't want to make the ball go yeah. like this, because then they have time and they play fast again. So try to, to have the ball accelerating still after the bounce. So it still has to shoot through. Yes, this is, fa this is fantastic, but then yeah. with the a short swing. Uh, now we do a trick. Do the rope around your uh, left arm, because when you fall in Alstein, you sometimes are here. Yeah. So if your left hand is there, your right hand is going to be there. If you are close, this will be close and you'll have more control. <laughs> nice. Yes. So now the difference is that the, your ball is still accelerating and that my contact point is here. Super low. Yeah. yeah, and if I play fast, I will kill myself. Movement is a bit in a, in a rush. Yeah. So try to make it closer and, and go high immediately so that it doesn't cost any time. And then swing soft. Swing soft. Yeah, because if I accelerate and you're going to do this, it's too much. It's too much, yeah. It's only possible if the ball is very slow. Sometimes I also feel like I try to put too much slice on the ball, and yeah. then it can go up. If I, if I hit the ball wrong, yeah. or in the net, it's even worse. Because then you were deaccelerating the ball. Yeah. So when you play the forehand folly, it has to be like, this is enough. Yeah. So I think you should make the motion earlier and soft long. Yeah. So always have a little bit of carrying the ball. Slow, long. Yes. Slow, long. Nice. Now we come to the following thing that you could do you follow through instead of there, more there. Yes, yeah. so your left shoulder should aim more to the corner and you should force yourself to remain here, mm -hmm. especially when somebody blocks. Yeah. Because the moment you go here, you take the ball up and you decrease the speed of the ball. So you yeah. do play slice, but it's going to be easier. Yeah, so try to up. be there, tuck, turn and hold. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yes. This time, but now I thought of the, the backswing was way uh, smaller, which was good. The contact point of the defender would be way lower and more in the center. Mm -hmm. I think you're, you, you increased your precision. Yeah. You, you, hit, you hit most balls on the, on the middle. You can also see in the net that the ball's like <laughs> there, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, I think what we should do now is that you have a tendency of doing this. Yeah. And this is uh, difficult if they play fast. If it's soft, you can generate extra power from that. Yeah. What we want to do now is that we get rid of the rope around your left hand but that your left hand is there and it stops. So that the left hand is like a structure, a post, uh, like uh, the first bricks of a house, is that it should be there. This is the first brick that you lay for the volley. Yeah. First brick for the volley, but the first brick of the house you cannot get out <laughs> because then the entire house collapses. So first brick of the house, palm, hold. So this will remain there. Yeah. Hold and return. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to do this, the ball's coming, pre pre prepare, first brick of the house, and it stays there. You cannot get rid of the first brick of the house. Yeah. Because if you get rid of that, this happens, and the folly is goed. Yeah. Not goed bra. Niet mooi, niet mooi. Sorry. Yeah, I zou niet zo ver denken. Ja, ik weet het, gaat vanzelf, maar ja. Okay. Bij mij niet. Als ik, als ik zo ver denk, dan, ga, dan kan ik niet meer prullen.
Nee, ik zeg gewoon, ik, ja, als je gebruikt. dat ene ding is, perfect, is zat. Ja. Ja. Oké, okay, so now we're going to play a rally. I'm going to play different balls to your forehandstein, so you don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. So you have to try to get this, the first brick of the house, palm volley. Uh, then we play the match, I only play low. Yeah. So now we can have a look if I still can play fast. This is the test. Mm -hmm. So if I can accelerate, it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Yes. And after you can play everywhere. Okay. So I think you should start here and then play there. Yeah. Whew. Yes. Exact. So you play me here, boom, back end, corner, that's it. Yeah. And it all starts with the ball that it was much better with more slice and softer. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yes, I cannot even get the ball back. So a normal tennis player would even stand here. Mm -hmm. So then now play to the center. Yeah, so I have to run a lot. Yeah, you have to run a lot. So this might, this might be even too fast. Yeah. So if I am here, try to play one even slower. Yes. Nice. So this is how you should play. Nice. Uh, next step. Okay, now the kick smash because I think this was good. You yeah. don't have to work on this. They just have to dare to play slow with the shorter backswing and the left hand here. Yeah. That's it because then you will have more precision. That's it. Now the kick smash. Play a few and then I have a look what yeah. we should improve. So. Yeah. Out Play. of the court or to the fence first? Uh, to the f out of the court first. Out of the court. Nice. I think you have a lot of power, Stein, but you m might use too much. And what we can do, we can make it is more precision shot, the smash, than a power shot. Yeah. You have enough power to kick the ball out. Yeah. So that's that's. But uh, we you you are playing on 120 percent. If you play on 70, mm -hmm. you will kick the ball out more than with 120 yeah. percent. So what we want to improve is the, the precision and that comes mostly from your preparation. So if we have a look at your preparation in slow motion, what you see now, and that you're not really there yet. So even though you're gonna smash, bang, get it ready. Yeah. And then wait for the racket here and you will be way more precise. Yeah. And then play your smash on 70% of your power and aim just like high on the glass and it will go out, just like I did not show you. <laughs> Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wreck it there. Yes. Can you prepare already now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better. Yeah. Now we want to have a little bit more kick. That the ball is more on your left shoulder. So what you're doing now with the smash, with the kick smash, is that you're going in this direction. Mm -hmm. You can never kick from here. When you kick, you have to remain sideways. So when I kick, I'm here and I stay here. Yeah. So I am going over this part of my head. Yeah. I am avoiding this part of the smash. So with the kick smash, be here and be there. So if the ball is a clock, you hit it from seven to two. Yes, I exactly. Yeah. yeah? Wow. 
Yes. So for your contact point, avoid this part. Yeah. You have to hit the ball the, uh, above your head or behind you or left shoulder. So when I am smashing, I would hit the ball on the line or in this service box. But never there. Yeah. This is flat. Then it becomes a power smash. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That felt good. Softly. Yes. Be careful with this. Yeah, have to stay like this. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be there. So you, you kick somebody that's standing <laughs> there. Yes. Yes, nice. Do you feel the difference? Yeah, I still feel a lot of the times I do something with my body which makes them go too much to the fence or to the side glass. Yeah. And then they can never go out. So it's something I still have to get used to. Yeah, I think this is a wrist movement. Yeah. And if you're not there yet, then there is too much happening here. Yes. So what you want to do is to to fix the timing a little bit. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, if you, if you can be here now. So I'm already here. My yeah. record is a little bit like this. So you can come from here, but the record should be closed. Yeah. So that if I am going to hit you, I'm actually going past you. <laughs> yes, exactly. So this motion will make the ball go out. Yeah. It's Yes, so you need that slice up. Do one more for the camera. So already be there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we increase the distance. Now you can go to the other side. So what we do now is that we hold the final position. So be here and kick. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but now you were moving. I was moving still, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was nice. <laughs> but now your motion, you see that you have a lot of power and that you don't need to use so much of your body. The more yeah. you do, the yeah, less accurate you will yeah. be. And now already start here. Because yeah. I felt like you were way more accurate if you were already here. Yeah. Because the problem is in that this big swing, is big too preparation. Long. Yes. Yeah. So small swing is more effective with the smash. Let's see. Yes, you see how much, much power. more power you yeah. have when you're already there. Yeah. yeah. So it might not go out, but for you at home as well, to play faster, you don't need a bigger swing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a smaller swing. So you hit the ball better, mm -hmm. so the ball will go faster yeah. or more kick. Yeah. So for you especially, is it, it is important that you're there early on. So the ball's coming, I see that somebody smashes, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, kick. Yes. And that will help a lot. What most people do is that they run to the position. <laughs> Big swing. And then they swing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it has to do two things, kick. Yeah. Uh, now, would be good to practice the fence mm -hmm. with a lot of kick. Yes, exactly. Softer. Softer. Yeah. So now it's very important when we kick to the fence that the preparation is very close to us and early. Yeah. Because we want to brush the ball a lot. So the, the bigger the swing, the less good this ball to the fence is going to be. Yeah. Yeah? Try to follow through. So when I go to the fence, I go all the way. All the way. Yeah. So you want to brush the ball so the ball comes down. Yeah. Yes. 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 Ooh. Make a few more steps. Yes, so when I go to the fence, it's like ta 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 ta, and I hold. Yeah. And, and my position, I prefer to be a little bit like here. More closed, yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. Soft. 
Yes. Soft. Yes. Perfect. So it would be good to aim here. So they never know if it's going to hit they the glass. They never know the if it's glass or fence. Yeah. And, and, and this is very risky. Yes. Yes. Turn more. Very good. Rack it up. Ooh. Yes, a little bit softer. Yes. You see that this ball died here, mm -hmm. and the ball of the fence was a little bit too fast, and then maybe my partner can help me out. Yeah. So you don't want to accelerate so much. Very good. Very good. Yes, okay. Now, I want you to try the same speed with the wrist to kick the ball out of the court. Yeah. Use the wrist for the kick. Yeah, yeah. And, and throw it away. So, boom, relax. Because now the last few balls, you had, you had so much kick. Yeah. That's something that you should use in the smash. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But then out of the court. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. A lot of, a lot of wrist. No worries. Rack it up. Rack it ready. Rack it ready. Yeah, a little bit earlier. A little bit earlier. Rack it up. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hit it behind you, hit it behind you. That Better. Yeah. So you can see that if you hit the ball here, you don't get a lot of kick. No. If you hit the ball here, you get way more effect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, hit it behind you, hit it behind you. Very good, Ooh. this is the one. Hit the ball behind you. Exactly. That feels better. Feels better. That feels way better. Yeah. So, uh, to end of this video, this is your shot. So you have to try to practice that. The defense helped a lot to practice the feeling for the kick. So we want to brush it way more, so the mm -hmm. ball goes out. Yeah. And that's something that you did very well when you're playing there. Yeah. And then you take that to there high, and a little bit deeper shot, so your kick smash with a lot of spin was bouncing here, yeah, and then good. it's too, too close to the net. So if it bounces like on the wide line, it goes out a little bit easier. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then please let us know. Thank you, Stein, for being in this video. Thank you. It was uh, nice to have you here. And uh, we're going to play a match tomorrow. Yes, quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. I'm also going to play quarterfinals, so hasta mañana. <laughs> and uh, if you also want to win matches, subscribe. Now, right now. Yeah. Now, now, click, 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 click. Hasta luego, ciao, ciao. adios. <laughs> and for all the Netherlanders, we have a Dutch YouTube channel. Paddle Ritmo, check it out right now. Link below. Very good. Very, very good. Very good, very good. <laughs> Wat ook in die met dat zweet.